But let's get into this. Listen, a lot of times, and I know how you feel, like I've been there. And, you know, whether it's somebody leaving our life, whether it's something that's happened to us, um, whether it's something that we're experiencing, you know, pain, right? Setback, a heartache, um, you know, all of these things in our life that's negative. I want to tell you right now that there's more to your life. If you have breath, and I know that might seem very generic, but I want to be honest with you. There's more to your life than what you're currently going through. There's more to your life than what you're experiencing. And you might say, well, Trent, how do you know? I know because I've been there. I know how it feels to be at a point where I feel like my life is over. There's nothing more to my life. My past had my best days. Um, you know, my future has nothing for me. There's no point of living anymore. I mean, my greatest times, my highlights were over. That's the, the negative mindset, right? The negative seeds that that situation might have planted in you. The negative seeds that that loss might have planted in you. And those things tend to grow. And the more we suffer more losses, the more we feel like there's nothing more for our life. And so I want to tell you, like I always tell you, and I will say this to the day that I check out of this earth, is just a chapter, right? You might have bad chapters, but there's more to be written. There's more to be written. If you're watching this right now, which you are because you're on here, there's more to be written. There's more than that loss. There's more than that heartbreak. There's more than that chapter that's over. There's more to be written. And I wanted to share this because a lot of people ask like, Trent, well, what's the steps? You know, what's the steps? How do I, what steps do I take? And I don't always give steps because a lot of times in our journey, the steps are different for everybody. I can't tell you that if you do exactly this, this will change your life. But I will share my personal experiences with you. I will share what helped me uh, get out my struggle, what helped me get out that time in my life where I felt like there's nothing else more to my life. Like that situation left my life, that person left my life, now my life is over. I know how you feel. There's two words that I held on to, that I held on to that really like changed my life. And it's simple. It's simple. Those two words were what if. What if. You know, when I when I was at my lowest, I said, you know, what what if there's more to my life? What if? There's a better relationship for me in the future than the one that I just lost. What if I can actually grow from my pain? What if my future does have my best days? What if there is a, a better purpose? What if there's something more to my life? And honestly, those what if words, like that's what kept me going. And it wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot like that slim chance of, of hope that I had, right? That slim chance of hope, that slim like chance of it could be something more like kept me going. It got me out of my struggle. So what did I do? I started to experience what if. So I started to challenge myself. I started to change certain things in my life. You know, I started to change my environment. I had to, and this is one thing that I want to, that I want to challenge you guys with is this, and I want to tell you guys to do when you evaluate your life right now in your what if stage, one thing that you can do or two things you can do is ask yourself this question. What is it in my life that's making me feel the way I feel? And if you can control that, control that, if you can change that, should I say, change it. If you can't, let it go. But that's the question I asked myself. I was like, what is it in my life that I can that, I, that needs to change that can't afford to be in my life anymore? What is it? And I made a change to my life. Something very small. Like I said, man, the smallest step in the journey when you look back will be your biggest step. And then the other thing I asked myself is what is it that I could do to better my life? And so for me, this is where rehab time was born. The what if stage. So what did I start doing? I start going to the gym. I say, you know what? I'm going to better my life physically. I started growing closer to God. I said, I'm going to start better in my life spiritually. And I start watching tons of interviews. And I still watch interviews to this day. I just started watching people. And I just started watching people's mindset and watching inspiration, watching inspirational videos. 
I just started changing my mindset. And those things started to grow. And as I started to progress, and it was hard work, right? As I started to progress, though, I started to see like a small little light at the end of the tunnel. Like a small little light. And I held on to that light. So the first stage is like the what if stage. If you can just find something to say, just what if, all right, is the what if stage. And then after my hard work, my commitment, me putting in the work, I slowly, and I want to tell you slowly because it's a journey. It's not going to happen overnight. I slowly moved to I can, the I can do this stage. Because what did I start doing? I started to prove myself wrong. And a lot of us tonight in here, we need to do that. Because a lot of us in here tonight, we have this story. This story that our life is over. This story that there's nothing more to my life. The story that other people gave us. The story that I didn't, I didn't finish college. I didn't finish high school. I'm not going to do nothing. The story that, oh, that relationship is over, so I'm never going to find love again. All these stories that we create in their lives, just to be real with you, because you're still living. You don't know what the future holds for you. But I had those stories. So I started to challenge those stories in my life. I started to prove myself wrong. So every time that I told myself that I couldn't do something, I went and went to go do it. From a physical standpoint, from a spiritual standpoint, from a, from a mental standpoint. And I started to prove myself wrong. And over time, as I started to prove myself wrong, I moved from the I can do this stage to the third stage, which is I'm doing this. I'm actually living the impossible. I'm actually getting out my struggle. I'm actually becoming a better man. I'm actually seeing that my life isn't over. I'm actually seeing that, man, like, I'm finding a strength inside of me that I didn't know existed. And I'm living in that moment. And when you're in that moment, when you're in the I'm living this moment, you start to move from like proving yourself wrong because you're growing so much to proving yourself right. Because now my mindset now, to be real with you, is like, I can do this or I can do even the impossible that it seems to other people, the impossible that it seems to me. And I go out and attack it. And for the most part, I accomplish these things and I do these things. So I move to the point of proving myself right. Okay? So the fourth step. So we talked about the first step was what? The what if stage. Just finding like that what if. Just trying it out. What you got to lose? If you had rock bottom, what you got to lose? That's the way I felt with my life. I ain't got nothing to lose. Straight up. So the first stage is the I can, I mean the what if stage. And then you move to that I can do this stage. And then you move to, I'm actually doing this. And then the next stage you move to is, dang, I'm doing more than what I thought I could do. And what this stage taught me in my life was how many limitations we put on ourselves, How many limitations we put on our life. Because a lot of times we don't live in our empowered mindset. What we live in is our limita limited mindset. And I'll tell you, when you're living in your limited mindset, right now you're probably thinking, Trent, that's easier said than done. Right now you're probably thinking like, I can't do this. Right now you're thinking about all the reasons why you can't. Instead of that one reason why you have to or why you can do it. So I want you to think about that. Like, what's your mindset right now? Because when you're in this phase, the I can do more than what I thought, your life changes, man. Because you realize that not the world. As I always say, you what? It's back up here on my wall. You might not be in control of what the world or someone gives you, but you're always in control of what you accept. And you start to realize that person in the mirror can either be your enemy or your best friend. That person in the mirror can either be the person that holds you down or the person that pushes you forward. Hence why I say it all starts with you. That's where all this mindset came from with me in my journey. The first stage is the what if stage. The second stage is you start to see the light. And you say, what? Maybe I can do this stage. The third stage is I'm actually doing this. I'm actually surviving without that person. 
I'm actually better in my life without that situation that I thought would end my life, that stage. And then you move to the, I actually can do more than what I thought I can do stage. You surprise yourself. Me traveling across the world, me speaking to thousands of people, I never thought I could do this. Never. I never thought I could be a speaker. If you know my story, I'm not going to go all in it tonight, but you know my story. I never wanted to be a speaker. I never thought this was for me. But I'm doing more than what I thought I could do. Because I'm starting to move to the person that God created me to be. You can't always see that person at first who God created you to be. And the last stage is the what can't I do stage. And so this is the stage when you start to do things that you don't even think is possible. But you know it's possible because you made it this far. This is a stage that takes your life to another level. This is a stage when people be like, man, how did, how did you do that? This is a stage when, for me, when I start traveling across the world, when I start putting on these speaking engagements, when I started writing books, all these things. And so my mindset now is, what can't I do? This is where I came up with the quote that the only impossibilities that exist are the ones that you create. I really believe if it's the will that God has for your life, it can happen for your life. But in this journey, this is a long journey. It's not going to happen next week. It might not happen in a year. So it's not going to happen overnight. It's not. That's why it's called a journey. It's not going to be perfect. You're going to have some setbacks. You're going to still hurt. There's times where I still hurt from my past, man. But the thing is, I don't surrender to my past. There's times where, I, where my mind goes back to my past. But I don't stay there. That's the difference. We got to stop thinking that healing doesn't hurt. We got to stop thinking that healing feels good. It doesn't. You're going to go through, through times when you question yourself. You're going to go through times when things aren't adding up. But just because things aren't going right in your life doesn't mean the path is wrong for your life. Facts over feelings. Just because you miss that person doesn't mean you need to go back to that person. Just because you miss that time in your life that you know is toxic for your life doesn't mean you need to go back to that time in your life. You got to remember facts over feelings and remember what's real. And like I said, the journey for everybody is different. For everybody is different. Well, number one, what's number one? Right? The what if. What if I could do this? The what if phase. The second phase is that I can do this phase. I think I can do this. I think so. I'm surviving a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm getting a little bit stronger. I'm moving forward a little bit with my life. I think I can do this stage. The third stage is that I'm actually doing it. I'm actually surviving, man. I'm actually starting that business. I'm actually doing the things they said I couldn't do. I'm doing the things I thought I couldn't do with myself. I'm proving myself wrong. Then that fourth stage is that, man, I'm doing more than what I thought I could do. <laughs> You're talking about putting limitations on your life, but I've been putting limitations on my life my whole entire life. And then that fifth stage is that, that stage of, Attacking the impossibility, that stage that says, what can't I do with my life? God can take you places, man, that you will never imagine. That's why when people say, where do you see yourself in five years? I say, wherever God wants me in five years. Because I know where I see myself in five years, if I keep staying consistent, if I keep having faith, if I keep staying faithful to the calling that God has placed in my life, I can't even picture where he's going to take me because I didn't picture myself here today ever, ever. And so I'm not undermining your struggle. I'm not telling you it's easy. It's not easy, but it is possible. It is possible. And how do I know? Because I'm living it. I'm living it. But those are just some steps, man, that, like I said, I don't know if it is going to, I don't know if it's going to change. I'm not going to lie to you and be like, these are the steps to change your life. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that, but I do know it helped me change mine. Simple things, simple things. 
But when you feel like quitting, always hold on to that what if, that positive what if with your life. All right. What if my what ifs are always negatives? I can't start my prices because my mind says what if. Then the worst comes to mind. Change your mindset. Go prove yourself wrong. Like I said, go prove yourself wrong. You know, that's a perspective thing. That's right. That's when your perspective is your prison and not your power. Uh, go prove yourself wrong. Go do something tomorrow. It don't have to have nothing to do with your change, but go prove yourself wrong. Go run a mile or go do something and just show yourself that you can do uh, more than what you think you can do. A lot of times our biggest enemy, really all the times, it's not about winning the war outside of ourselves. It's about winning this battle in here. And the only way you can start to win that war is to face those battles, you know, and start to prove yourself wrong and get around people, change your environment. You know, like I said, I used to watch interviews. I still watch interviews every single day and it changed my mindset and empowered me. I got into my word and empowered me. Like you have to really put in the work on yourself uh, more than anything else. You know, nothing's going to work if you don't work on you. And like I said, tell yourself, you know, that's a lie. That's a lie. It's just time to do it. Like I said, we ain't waiting to make changes. Like, go make changes. And you might not think I understand where you're at, but I do. I do. Because I've been there. I've been at rock bottom before. And, you know, I I, I, I went through my journey. I'm still growing. I'm still growing with my life. You know, there, there's, there's other times where I got to go through this process again with my life. You know what I'm saying? So you're never all the way there. Don't ever think that. Don't be like, oh, well, Trent, he has it all together, so it's easy for him to say. Nah, man, I got to put in work. I got struggles too. You know, I got situations that come into my life. I got storms that come into my life, just like you. And like I said, the only thing different now is that my perspective is my power, not my prison. You know, my, my mentality has totally changed. You know, I don't blame other people. I don't blame situations. I know if I have to do, I know if something, if something needs to change in my life, the only person that can truly change it is myself. And so I try to make that change the best way I can. But I focus, I always focus on what can I do now to get myself out of this situation, out of this mindset? What can I do? I don't think about the how to get to step five. You know, some of us right now are thinking about that. We're like, how? okay, I'm going to think about the, exactly how I can get to the point where what can I do with my life? Get to that mindset. That's not the mindset you need to have tonight. The mindset you need to have tonight is say, what can I do, right, to start proving myself wrong? What can I do to start proving myself wrong? And that's what I did with my life. And I started to prove myself wrong. And so every doubt that came in my mind after that, every challenge that came in my mind, every I can't that came in my mind, every that's impossible that started to come in my mind, I started to challenge that. I didn't run from it no more. I didn't believe it no more. Whether it was from people or whether it was it, or whether it was from myself, and as I started to defeat these things, I started to realize, man, these are just you know seeds from my past. These are just the, the enemy trying to play his tricks. These are just people that's je whatever it may be. I started to realize that these things couldn't stop me without my permission, and I started to get that fighter mentality to say, you know what, I ain't gonna surrender to it. I'm gonna fight for it. Like if if, if it's gonna take me out. I'm going down swinging, swinging. It's going to be a fight. Because, and I'll tell you why. Because I realized that my life was bigger than me. I realized that my life was bigger than me. And when I realized that, like I said, I have children. I had a son at that point. And I realized that my life was bigger than me. And that was my why. That was my why. That just wouldn't let me quit. And so I encourage you. You hear it all the time. Find your why. Find your why. That's It's powerful. Find your reason, as I like to call it. Find your reason. Find that magnet that pulls you forward, that keeps you going. Find it. And start proving yourself wrong. And then you get to a point, like I said, you go from proving yourself wrong. Because when you're proving yourself wrong, you're kind of still in that negative mindset. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. We've all been there. You're kind of in that negative mindset. And then as you move forward, as your mindset starts to change, as your mindset starts to become more powerful, as your mindset starts to have more faith, as your mindset starts to have more confidence, you move from proving yourself wrong to proving yourself right. Because now you're setting goals and you're crushing them. Right? Now you're saying what you're going to do with your life and you go out and do it. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.